name's Mike Daniel with the San Antonio Stone. Uh, the other day, I was finishing up some work on uh, the ministry's taxes, and if you know me at all, you probably realize that's something I hate <laughs> to have to do. Uh, it seems, most of the time, that kind of administrative task for me and my calling and where God uses me most often is off task. And so I'm always wanting to get through that so that I can get to what God has given me uh, personally and uniquely to do in, in life. Maybe you can relate to that. There are things that seem to be pulling us away or are distractions or the obstacles, the necessary context of what we have to deal with to get to those things that we're actually purposed for. And uh, so it was a drag. And, and then I remembered the, the word from the Apostle Paul that said, um, that to follow all of the government's ordinances, every ordinance of government, as an act of worship to God. And I thought, wow, what a challenge that is to me, to do my taxes as an act of worship. And then later I came across this verse in Hebrews, which I've read before, but not in the context of what I'd experienced earlier this week. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15 it says, Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of his praise, which is the fruit of our lips, and it confesses his name. In other words, we are about the business in every venue of the fruit of our lips being uh, an offering, a sacrifice of praise to God. Well, what I was doing was a greater sacrifice if I was doing it unto God than anything that I would like to be doing or I think is more purposeful in my life. The greater sacrifice was to do my taxes as an act of worship. You know, it's interesting, Louis Diglio, in his book, The Air I Breathe, makes a statement about, you know, if there's fruit, then it's coming from some kind of root. And so I think about what I'm rooted in, uh, where, where I drive the root of my life. My soul is rooted in something that produces fruit in my life. In the midst of that moment of driving downtown to take care of some tax issues, how important it would be for me to be doing that out of the root of my life of Christ as my source. And so out of that root, he can produce fruit that confesses and is the dispensation of his grace in this current age. For you today, let me challenge you. God wants to be so much the source of your life, the overarching issue of any moment of your life. That out of your love for Him and your sacrifice for Him, your trust in Him, that your uh, fruit of your lips will be a confession to the empowerment and the worthiness of the name of Jesus Christ in your life. Be so rooted solically in your heart, mind, will, your emotions, that, and so rooted in the person of Christ that everything you do displays the fruit of His grace as an act of worship to Him. I hope that you'll meditate on that, that today can be a day that in the greatest opportunities of sacrifice, you will be the dispensation of His grace for His glory, the hope of glory of Christ in you.